This is Dawson Springs, Kentucky, or what's left of it. Uh, you can see the debris field here. Aluminum from, from roofs. You have wood boards with nails from homes all over. Uh, people's belongings, pillows, clothes, picture albums, uh, someone's fence here. Amazing amount of debris. Behind me, a vehicle and trees ripped apart. Uh, I am sandwiched in between two neighborhoods uh, here. It is unbelievable destruction, 360 degrees, uh, just like Mayfield, Kentucky. This is a town that has active search and rescue right now. Uh, people going door to door, making sure that there is no one uh, alive or buried under the rubble here in Dawson Springs. And you could see the urgency as emergency responders, firefighters sifting through the rubble as uh, they believe that uh, there may be a woman in here in this debris behind me, uh, her home uh, right over here. You could see the slab right there, uh, but they think that uh, she may be in here. Uh, so they are looking uh, very carefully, uh, moving through these piles of what is left. They think that potentially uh, she may have uh, died and maybe uh, buried under some of this destruction behind me. The governor of Kentucky has said that could be 70 to 100 people who have lost their lives. Uh, there are many that are still missing uh, as people are reeling and going through the loss of their neighborhoods, their belongings, and just two weeks before Christmas. Well, this is what's left of the living room, dining room, kitchen. The National Weather Service is looking into the strength of this tornadic activity that went for more than 200 miles on the ground, potentially historic, could be an EF4 or the rare EF5 over 200 mile an hour winds. We'll have that potentially later this week from the National Weather Service as they are surveying everything out here. But in this particular town, people can't believe their eyes. And sure enough, uh, when they come back to see their homes, the cars piled up, structures that have been built so well, ripped apart uh, by the energy of this devastating tornadic system here in Kentucky, near the Southern Illinois border and Tennessee. Reporting from Western Kentucky, Robert Ray, Fox Weather.